Good morning, good morning, my beautiful people. Happy Sunday to you and yours. I hope you're having a beautiful Sunday morning. Um, on a prayer walk, and I feel like it's important for me to share this Bible verse with you, which is uh, the book of Samuel, chapter 30, verse 8. For those of you who are new to this platform, you're welcome to Across the Atlantic Ministry. For those who have been a keen follower, I say may God continue to bless you as you have been a blessing to this platform and to the work of Christ. My name is Okwemi Kaode and I'm here to tell your spirit. And I'm, I'm basically going to go straight into the Bible verse, which is the book of First Samuel, chapter 30, verse 8. And basically, we are asking for restoration. Restoration of what the canker worm has stolen. Restoration of all the things you've lost to the devil. Restoration of all your lost virtues, of your blessings, of the goodness that God, God has bestowed upon you. It is time for you to seek for restoration. And there is nothing wrong in asking for restoration. And with this Bible verse, you will understand exactly what David had to do to claim back his possession stolen by the devil. He had to ask for restoration. He said, are you ready? Make sure you open your Bible to this particular Bible, Bible reading. He said, David and his men, verse 8. And he said, and David inquired of the Lord, shall I pursue this raiding party will I overtake them? And the Lord said unto him, Pursue them. He answered, You will certainly overtake them and succeed in the rescue. <laughs> you see, sometimes when you go to do the work of life and it feels like you are away from the blessings that God has bestowed on you. David went to war, and before he came back from war with his, with his men, his land, his children, the women in the land, the young, the old, they took every one of everything that belongs or that belonged to David and his men. They were dead. Imagine they went for war and they got raided by another king. They got raided. And what happened then? David came back from this particular mission, and all David met was a, a fallow ground. You know, a land that has been raided by his enemies. You see, imagine you step out, God forbid, and you come back and you notice that. All that belongs to you has been taken. You know? Imagine the kind of cry. Imagine the kind of rage. You know the kind of feeling. It got to the point that when David and his men came back, even his men wanted to kill David. They were so angry. They were so devastated. They forgot that even David himself, his children, his wife, all his belongings, the gold, the treasures, were taken away. That this wicked man, David was bitter in spirit. He was bitter in spirit. And then he spoke to the priest. Abitad is priest. And that was when he went on his knees. Sometimes situation will make you go on your knees. When you become angry about what the devil has stolen from you, when you are aware, when you are not a novice to what the devil has done to you, then you will rage. 
you will be angry and ask for that restoration that truly is yours. Seven or verse eight, and I'll go back to it. He said, and David, when he inquired out of that bitterness is his soul, out of that anger that he felt, he inquired of the Lord. He asked God, our Father, look at it. This is my situation. This is my faith. But would I accept this faith? And then he inquired, and that is what we need to do. Don't say that is how life is. Uh, hold on, Tishabe. God doesn't want anything for us, but yes. So it is wrong for you to accept and say that, ah, that is what God wills for me. No. David went to the and said, that is not the plan of God for me. And he asked him, that, shall I pursue these people? Shaking limb one, shall I pursue them? Shall I chase them? And also, before, he also had that thought that, when I pursue, would I overtake? And these are all the things you need to consider. And this is the assurance you need to key on to as well. When you are asking for God, that when I pursue, will I recover? Will I overtake? David was very intentional. The word he was asking from God. And to, to round this all up, he said, God said to him, pursue them. He answered. Because definitely God wants you to, you know, be ready for warfare against your whatever stands against you. You see, sometimes the enemy itself is not what we regard to as flying things in the night. It could be the wisdom that you need. It could be the knowledge that you need. It could be the boldness that you need. It must, it must be, the, it might be the strength that you need. It might be the faith you need. And whatever feels like weariness or anxiety, that could be what is raiding you from not achieving what God has in plans for you. He said you will certainly overtake them and succeed in rescue. And that is the assurance I bring to you. The assurance that if you are ready to pursue, you will overtake and recover all the enemy has stolen from you which is asking for restoration. So begin to ask God with faith because David was intentional. You have to be intentional. He went with his men. <laughs> David, when he, when he overtook them and, and, and he got hold of them, he speared none. He speared none. He slayed them from morning to night. And that is how you need to press and fight so you can be restored of all God has made available for you that has been stolen by the enemy. Do not leave any stone unturned. Do not leave no stone unturned. Ask for restoration. Go zaga de dinga brada. Go zaga de dinga brada. Go zinga 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 Begin to ask God for restoration. Eh? Begin to ask God for restoration. Eh? Restoration of your lost virtues, of your blessings, whatever has been stolen from you, knowing or not knowing, whatever has been you've been deprived of, that you need to fight to get back. Oh, eh? it could be your. Your, your ambition, it could be the job, it could be your education, it could be your health, it could be your wealth, it could be your glory, it could be your fortune, it could be your boldness, it could be your happiness, it could be your marriage, it could be your children, 
it could be it could be your your righteousness it could be your salvation that the enemy is robbing you of that the enemy is taking advantage of because out of your ignorance sir out of your weakness sir out of your laxity oh yeah begin to ask god uh, for restoration begin to pursue now 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 rule of that word where david asked god that should i pursue would i overtake and would i recover and God answered me, yes, that means that the captive of the might, mighty, <laughs> the captive of the mighty can be set free. That means that no matter the situation you think you are, no matter what you feel you are going through right now, there is hope, there is light at the end of the tunnel. It is very possible for you to set yourself free from the hands uh, of the mighty. So begin to ask God for restoration. Uh, restoration of all that concerns you. Restorations of things that you have lost. Uh, made unknowingly or unknowingly. Consciously or unconsciously. Intentionally or unintentionally. Begin to ask for restoration. Uh. It is never too late. Always remember that it is never too late to ask for all that concerns you. It is never too late. Oh, men would have stayed in that same position and cried and blamed the devil and blamed God. But David never did that. David asked that, no, this cannot happen to me. This should not be my fate. This should not be my situation. This is not be my judgment. Oh, because I have, I have gone out to war. I have gone out to war to do the duty of Christ. Because of that, why would I be judged? Why would I be raided for that? That is to tell you that even when you are doing the work of Christ, it doesn't mean that situations will not arise. But the ability to fight, to prepare your hands for warfare, to prepare your tongue, to smite, oh Lord, to create wrath for your enemy, which is the devil, oh, that God has bestowed on you, that strength, and when he asked, and he was able to receive with words of assurance from Christ, that pursue, overtake, and recover, and I begin to decree upon you right now, you begin to pursue. You begin to overtake her, you begin to recover. Oh, Gagatina Gadida, O Sagabrin de Cabunduru, Nagabre de Cabandesha, O Gabanda Gabros, it is never too late. 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 Do not dwell on the faith that the enemy may have created for you. Do not dwell on the judgment or the situation you are going through. David pursued, and when he got hold of the enemy, he smote them from day into night and recovered. In fact, he even took one of the things they have stolen and all the things they've raided, he even recovered more that was taken from him. That is to tell you that when you ask from God, when you ask him to wage war against your enemies, he will grant you the strength to recover all that has been stolen from you. And even those that, so, that, 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 that feels like it doesn't belong to you because it's the riches of the Gentiles belongs to the righteous. We need to ask God for restoration. Oh, Gagatin, Gagaban, Dede, Gabron, Sada, Togo, Dagatin, Dagabra, Gaban, Dede, Gabron, Sada, Gabran, Dagadera, Dagabon, Dugu. Ask God for restoration. Ask God for restoration. Oh, recollection of claiming your possession, of claiming all that belongs to you, of claiming back all that concerns you. In the name of Jesus, restoration. Right now, I begin to declare for wherever your virtues have been hidden. Your blessings have been hidden. Your goodness has been hidden. Your fruitfulness has been hidden. Your fortunes have been hidden. Oh, yeah, you begin to recover right now in the name of Jesus. You begin to recover right now in the name of Jesus. You begin to recover right now in the name of Jesus. You begin to recover now in the name of Jesus. You begin to recover right now in the name of Jesus. You begin to recover right now 
in the name of Jesus, you begin to recover right now. In the name of Jesus, you begin to pursue, overtake her, and recover now. In the name of Jesus, you begin to pursue, overtake her, and recover. In the name of Jesus, is it your job? Is it your lifetime partner? Is it your marriage? Is it your progress? Is it your business idea? Is it your investment? Oh, is it your savings, Lord? Is it your your goodness and mercy, Lord. Is it your good? Is it your joy? Is it your peace? Is it love? Men lack love these days. Begin to ask love to fill your heart. Begin to ask love to fill your heart. Is it the gift of the Spirit? Is it the fruit of the Spirit? Is it your ministry? Begin to ask God for restoration. It is never too late, my brother. It is never too late, my sister. Oh, gaga, jinga, gaga. I begin to declare restoration for all that you have lost, for all that concerns you, Lord, or for all that has been stolen from you by the enemies. Maybe in your days of sin, whether intentionally or intentionally, whether consciously or unconsciously, whether knowingly or not knowingly, I begin to declare restoration, 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 restoration. It could be your admission. It could be your admission. It could be your education. It could be your love. It could be your love. It could be love in your heart. You were once a loving person, but because of what you've gone through, because of the situation you found yourself, because of how men have treated you, you have stopped loving. You have stopped helping. You have stopped being kind. I begin to declare that the love of Christ, the love of the Spirit of God, fills your heart right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, you could have been a com you were once a compassion compassion person but all of a sudden oh you were you you were deceived you went to situations that you could never believe that men could do to you and all of a sudden you lost that compassion you lost that compassion to show upon men I now begin to decree back in your heart uh, compassion uh, compassion uh, compassion uh, compassion uh, in the name of Jesus uh, oh lord and i begin to declare to the life of men all that concerns them that feels like it is lost i cannot be found he said you are lost but you'll be found you'll be found in righteousness you'll be found in right salvation i now begin restoration upon you oh beyond your own strength the restoration with the help of Christ. I begin to declare upon you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Go Gazinda Gabrada. Go Gadabin Gabrada. Jagada Gabranda Gabondoro. Jingra Gabrada and Didi. Go da Gabrana Gabronzinda. Jagada Dina Gabrodin. O Ragada Brada Niga. Jingra Gabrada Gondorogo. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to thank Jesus for restoration. Begin to thank you for restoration. Begin to thank him for supplication. Begin to thank him for that supply. Begin to thank him for what he has done. Begin to thank him because it is done and it is settled in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 It is well with you. Go into this new week and secure all that belongs to you. Pray. Seek. He said, When you seek, you shall find. David had to seek and he found all that belongs to him. Stay. Stay that spirit. It is never too late for God to recover all that concerns you in the mighty name of Jesus. Once again, this is across the Atlantic ministry. I wish you a week of restoration, total restoration, divine restoration in the mighty name of Jesus. It is well with you. Have a blessed week.